Um, there are a number of agents that have shown really promising responses in this setting. Um, the drugs that are currently kind of at the top of the list include quizartinib, uh, cronolinib, and gilteritinib. Um, and we're presenting data, I'll be presenting this uh, later today, on gilteritinib uh, from a study called Chrysalis. Uh, which was the first in human study of that compound. Uh, Gelteritinib was designed basically to, uh, if you had a checklist of all the things you want in a FLT3 inhibitor and a checklist of all the things you don't want in the inhibitor, if you wanted something that could check all the boxes and that basically does it. It's highly potent, it's highly selective, it is active against resistance mutations, it can be given once a day, um, and this study established that it was both safe, tolerable, highly active, and generated very durable responses. Um, on previous FLT3 inhibitor trials, uh, response rates were really quite high, but often a very short duration. And one of the problems was that we could develop resistance. And because of that, we had to quickly move patients in response to a transplant to see long-term survival. Um, only f uh, about 14% of patients treated with gilteritinib on this study went on to transplant after study therapy, and yet the survival on this study looks at least as good, if not better, than any drug we've tested in this setting, and even looks better than we see with salvage chemotherapy, leading the drug now to be undergoing phase three development. Um, so that's a very exciting result in a drug that's been extremely well tolerated. Um, it really has been a, a, a very nice uh, experience developing this drug in this patient population, which has really aggressive disease um, and typically very short survival.